Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a British zombie horror film called The Resort. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Ten years ago, the Chromosyn virus outbreak caused the deadliest pandemic mankind had ever seen. The virus killed people and then brought them back to life, turning them into flesh-hungry zombies. The zombies started infecting everyone around them, causing a war between the living and the dead. The war only ended when a process of bombing the zombie-infested area called the Brimstone Protocol was brought into action. By the end of it, more than two billion people had died. Zombies were wiped out from the face of the Earth, except for in the resort. The resort is a sun-drenched island that monetizes the existence of the zombies. People from around the world pay thousands of dollars to go to the island and hunt zombies safely. The resort's CEO is a woman named Valerie Wilton. She is praised for her wonderful tactic to bring the world's economy back on track after the war. Moreover, she is also funding a charitable organization called hope for You, which aids international refugees. A young couple named Lewis and Melanie has come to the island for a similar venture. Melanie's father was turned into a zombie during the war, which has left a deep scar in her life. Hence, she is on the island to cope with her trauma. The couple, along with other guests, are brought into an exclusive lobby to rest after their flight. Among the guests are two teenage gamers named Jack and Alfie, a girl named Sadie who is supposed to come with her fiancé, and a quiet veteran named Archer. They are finally taken to the famous resort. At night, the guests enjoy food and drinks while Valerie Wilton gives a speech about the resort, making everyone's fantasies come true. The place is a paradise for people who want to heal from the trauma that the war had caused them. Sadie leaves the party and wanders around looking for something. She nervously enters the facility's control room and hacks into the resort's mainframe to extract some data. Archer notices her walking out of the room, but doesn't think much of it. The following day, the group is put into a vehicle by their tour guide, Tom. They finally set off for the zombie hunting adventure. When the officials try to close the main gate after the vehicles leave, the system starts to malfunction. The technicians dismiss it as a minor issue. The group is then taken to a hunting spot, where Tom briefs them on the techniques and rules of the hunt. Melanie looks over to the field and sees hundreds of zombies roaming around. She is still not ready to hunt them because they remind her of her dad. On the other hand, Jack and Alfie start shooting almost immediately. Lewis makes the first kill and hands the rifle to Melanie. She points it at a female zombie, but cannot shoot when she gets a look at her face. Meanwhile, Archer, from behind them, shoots like a professional and kills with every shot he makes. Everyone is impressed by his skills. Then, the group is brought to a camping site where they are going to stay for the night. Back in the resort, the security problem has not been fixed. A worried Valerie asks the head of security to run a full diagnosis. They soon figure out that someone unauthorized had gotten into their system and left them with a virus that is causing security breaches. If the computer virus is not contained, soon the resort will be flooded with zombies. Somewhere else, another group who had left for the hunt is attacked. The zombies get one person while the others manage to escape. Right after, the resort is attacked too. The guests run in fear as the zombies begin to bite everyone in their way. Soon, they get into the control room and begin to turn the employees into one of them. Valerie hides behind the computers, watching as the creatures kill everyone. Before they can get to her, she runs into her office and locks herself in. A staff member begs her to open the door for him, but she doesn't. The system automatically activates the brimstone protocol, which will destroy the island in a few hours. Back in the camp, Melanie approaches Sadie and talks about why she is there. As the two talk, they see a zombie walking towards them. Sadie takes a gun and points it at the creature. However, she cannot shoot him out of sympathy. The zombie is killed by Archer. Tom starts to freak out because the zombies are not supposed to come to the camp as they are separated by a tall electric fence. He uses the car's light to look around and sees a group of zombies approaching them. The security breach had caused the fences to open, allowing the zombies to enter the safe zone. Archer starts shooting them as Tom gets inside the car to contact the resort. He is not able to get to them, and even the vehicle doesn't start. Sadie and Melanie are hiding inside the tent, where Melanie is attacked by a zombie. Sadie saves her, and the two run towards the car. Everyone gets on top of it to save themselves. However, when Alfie tries to climb up, he is bit by a zombie. Jack watches as his best friend lies limp on the ground. 
Suddenly, everything goes quiet. The camp is covered with dead zombies. The group decides to stay on top of the car for the night. The next morning, Tom tells them that they aren't getting any help, and only a few hours are left till the brimstone protocol. Once it begins, several explosions will automatically take place on the island, killing all the zombies to prevent further infection. They have to get away from the island before the protocol starts. The staff were told to be at the dock before the resort was taken over, but since their car isn't working, reaching the dock in time is impossible. Tom takes a look at the island map and figures out that the communication relay has an underground way back to the dock. The group makes their way to the communication relay led by Archer. He stops the group every few minutes, sensing danger. Lewis retaliates, saying that no one made him the leader. Suddenly, a zombie attacks Jack, but is killed by Tom. Tom notices that the zombie is a fellow travel guide. They continue the journey and reach a broken fence with a car crashed into it. They get to the other side one by one, but are attacked by the zombies midway. One of them bites a chunk of flesh off of Tom. Everyone watches him in shock when suddenly, Lewis shoots him dead. Melanie is horrified that her boyfriend would do something like that. Without dwelling on it, they continue towards the communication relay. When they finally reach the place, Archer asks Sadie to be in check, or else they will leave her behind. When the others call him out for being disrespectful, he reveals that he had seen Sadie sneaking around the control room while hiding from the security the other day. Everyone asks Sadie if that is true. She finally reveals that she is a member of an undead rights activist group called The Living Two. She and her group wanted to stop the brutal hunting going on on the island, so she was sent to download some secret data from the resort's mainframe. However, she had been betrayed by her own people because while she was downloading the data, they uploaded a virus to crash the whole security system. Lewis harshly blames Sadie for killing all of those people. Everyone looks at Sadie in disapproval and makes their way towards the communication relay, leaving her behind. Melanie is disappointed, but asks Sadie to come with them, anyway. They go inside the building to see half-eaten bodies scattered everywhere. The building is infested with zombies, but the group make their way inside carefully, without making noise. They separate into two groups while trying to hide from the zombies. Sadie and Jack go one way, and Archer, Melanie, and Lewis go the other. The second group reaches the opening to the underground way that they were looking for, but Jack and Sadie are attacked by the creatures. Sadie gets bitten in the encounter. With no way out, she asks Jack to run away as a horde of zombies takes over her. Jack runs to the rest of the group and they quickly get on the other side of a fence and save themselves. They then make their way underground and reach a dark hall. Going further in, they see several zombies in cages being held in a room at a very high temperature. They escape the oven-like room and think that they are safe, but just then, a zombie latches onto Jack and bites him. Archer kills the zombie, but now Jack is infected. When he starts to convert, Archer unwillingly shoots him. Now, only three of them remain alive. Archer, Melanie, and Lewis. The three move forward and are confused to see a refugee camp organized by a charitable foundation called Hope For You. They soon realize that CEO Valerie had been bringing in refugees from around the world, promising to provide them with shelter. But instead, they converted innocent refugees into zombies to keep the island running. The incubation room they came across earlier was to heat the zombies so they would look older and the tourists wouldn't know that they are fresh. Suddenly, the fresh refugee zombies come out of the tent. The three run back into the hallway but cannot hold the door closed against the crowd of zombies. While Melanie and Archer struggle to hold the door, Lewis runs away selfishly to save his own life. Archer offers to hold the door until Melanie can run away as well. She agrees once he makes her believe that he will be right behind her. However, after Melanie is on the other side, Archer opens the door and runs through the crowd of zombies. Now only 16 minutes remain before the brimstone protocol is executed. Melanie walks through a hallway and reaches the lobby they were brought to when they first arrived at the island. The place is also covered with zombies. Suddenly, Lewis appears in front of her and apologizes for leaving earlier. Melanie notices a bite mark on his arm and points her gun at him. But instead of shooting, she hands him the gun. Lewis knows he cannot be saved, so he shoots himself dead while Melanie is chased by the zombies. She is suddenly dragged into a room by CEO Valerie, who claims that they can only run out through the emergency exit. Melanie refuses to cooperate with her and calls her a monster. The two struggle for the gun, but are soon attacked by the creatures. They kill Valerie, but Melanie manages to run outside while being chased. Just then, the brimstone protocol begins, causing several explosions all around the island. Melanie narrowly avoids being caught in the explosion by jumping into the sea. 
The whole island burns in flames as rescue helicopters fly around it. Three weeks after the incident, we see Archer sitting in a bar. He has miraculously managed to escape from the island and is watching Melanie on television. She talks about how humankind won against the zombies but lost their humanity in the war. She has exposed the Hope For You organization and warns the people that a second war might be near. Somewhere else, a reporter is broadcasting the news about the incident when we see several zombies attacking people in the background. It turns out that some of the zombies survived the brimstone and escaped the island. The second war between the living and the dead has begun. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.